Good morning. It's time for Daily Chapel at the LCMS International Center in St. Louis. The text is Mark chapter 16, verses 14 through 29. The Reverend Sean Denzer is preaching. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. A reading from Luke, the first chapter. Now the time came for Elizabeth to give birth, and she bore a son. And her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown great mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. And on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they would have called him Zechariah after his father. But his mother answered, No, his name shall be called John. They said to her, None of your relatives is called by that name. And they made signs to his father, inquiring what he wanted him to be called. And he asked for a writing tablet and wrote, His name is John. And they all wondered. And immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue loosed, and he spoke, blessing God. And fear came on all the neighbors and all these things that were talked about through all the hill country of Judea. And all who heard them laid them up in their hearts, saying, What then will this child be? For the hand of the Lord was with him. And his father Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets from of old, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us to show the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath that he swore to our father Abraham to grant us that we, being delivered from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways to give knowledge of salvation to his people in the forgiveness of their sins because of the tender mercy of our God whereby the sunrise shall visit us from on high to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. And the child grew and became strong in spirit and he was in the wilderness until the day of his public appearance to Israel. This is the word of the Lord. Be to God. The church remembers many saints, but the Bible singles out two for special honor Saint Mary, whom all generations shall call blessed, and Saint John, whose nativity we observe today. Among all men born of women, none is greater than John the Baptist, Jesus says. How to honor them? we learn from John's unsung yet singing father, Zechariah. Zechariah struggled to believe the angel's word was true, that he and his wife would conceive and have a child in their old age. He was struck dumb for nine months because of it. Imagine the time that he had alone with his own thoughts. Imagine the astonishment and joy when he saw his son growing in the womb, and he knew that the angel's word was not a lie. Imagine being the proud parent of the greatest man ever born. And yet, when John was born, and the name was scratched on the tablet, and it broke open this old priest's voice once more, Zechariah did not sing a song about the pride of fathers, or about the miracle of birth, or about the greatness of his son. No, inspired by the Holy Spirit, he sang the Benedictus, which we'll have to wait till Thursday to sing this week. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. At last, he could proclaim the benediction that he never had the chance to speak that fateful day in the temple. And he improvises a bit. Not the Lord bless you, But blessed be the Lord who visits to work redemption. Zechariah sings in concert with all of the prophets that came before him, who from the beginning of the world have been looking forward to that offspring promised 
to forefather Abraham. And in this hymn, Zechariah foreshadows the memorable words of his son when John says, I must decrease and Christ must increase. To celebrate a feast in honor of John the Baptist, a rite, you and I must celebrate it far more in honor of Jesus Christ than of John. And Zechariah's great boy is merely the voice. He is the forerunner and the prophet. Jesus, though, Jesus is the Most High. And John would have it be no other way on his birthday. Now it is true that John the Baptist matters. The second half of the Benedictus that we heard today is directly addressing him. You, child, John, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. Jesus called John the greatest man ever born because John is the last of all of the Lord's Old Testament prophets. He is the last of the voices that are pointing forward to the Christ. And he's the only one who actually gets the privilege to say, here he is, here he is, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. That is John's unique honor. Yet, Jesus goes on to say, the one who is least in the kingdom of God is greater even than him. John's greatness is not self-serving or self-honoring at all. His preaching serves the one who was before him, but for the benefit of all who came after him. He actually serves you. To give knowledge of salvation unto you is John's mission. God's people by the forgiveness of your sins. The least in the kingdom, you and I, dear Christians, we are greater even than John in this sense. We know the Lord who not only has visited, but also who is crucified and is risen from the dead never to die again the one who has redeemed his people and worked salvation in this grand way by the forgiveness of our sins through the tender mercies of our God. Christ Jesus is the day spring from on high who has visited us. He has brought light into the darkness. He's brought us into peace with God through the forgiveness of our sins by his blood. John was not that light But John is the one who bore witness to that light, the one who was coming into the world. So how then, on his birthday, should you and I commemorate so great a man as John? Well, honor him by decreasing along with John, so that Christ may be magnified. Honor John by loving his preaching of repentance for the forgiveness of your sins in Christ Jesus. And above all, rejoice with his father, Zechariah, in the confession of that God-man, Jesus Christ, who has visited and redeemed us by his tender mercy. In so doing, you will find your place also among all of God's saints, all of those who are sanctified in the knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. It is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Chapel. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. To learn more about long and short-term opportunities to serve, visit servenow.lcms.org.